Our mission is... A tiresome task. But Commander, remember it is vital that we accept requests from the public if we are to keep up appearances. Our status as mercenaries makes us better suited than any knightly order to accommodate Duke Hende's needs. Oh, very well. Now, on to the details of this mission. The request hails from the village of Biltar in North Central Field. They report that a number of their young women have been kidnapped. It seems they have been forced into Count Horace's brothel, and it is our task to get them out. If the Count were revealed to be a kidnapper, it would be a real blow to Lord Kimball's faction. Not to mention that stifling a rival councillor's revenue would be a great boon to Duke Hende, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. But we cannot just march into a noble's territory on the word of some villager. The Count would simply feign complete ignorance, and then we would be the ones left with egg on our faces. I have a plan. Walter Quinn, if you would. I was able to secure a private audience with Lord Kimball, posing as a well-intentioned informant. What? After the initial pleasantries, we were soon discussing serious matters. I mentioned Count Horace's sordid occupation, and may have suggested that Duke Hende was sniffing around. This panicked our dear Lord Kimball to no end. He ordered that Count Horace be killed without delay. He'd assassinate a nobleman from his own faction. The noble Lord Kimball is no doubt attempting to tie up any loose ends before Duke Hende gets further involved. Here is Count Horace's assassination order, signed by Lord Kimball himself. It is our reason for visiting Biltar. With this, no one would dare question us. What? Hmm. Commander Jordan? Now do as you see fit. Count Horace's domain, Biltar, is not far from here. It shouldn't take more than half a day on horseback. We should set off at once. I fear for the safety of those women. Snap out of your stoop already. There's a band of mercenaries coming for your head as we speak. How could this happen to me? Lord Kimball, why? You were found out by an enemy faction. Are you so surprised that he cut you loose? Well, that's enough, Hadi. I will take the fight to them, and you'll join me. I'd rather not get involved, to be honest. But I suppose you can have a few of my men. The enemy looks willing to fight to the death. What's our plan for breaking through? It doesn't look like they had much time to prepare for us. Oh my, I didn't think you were one for fireworks. Oh, it's simply the most logical choice, given the circumstances. I couldn't agree more. Now, shall we? All right, ready to go. If I do this, will they notice me? Let's get going. There we go. Got it. You head back. Understood. You destroy this.
and when it goes in the attack. I've got it. I understand. On my way. I'll take you down. Glory to Alate. Next time. Another one down to Alate. All according to plan. I'm the such a successful. The bridge is down. And the enemy is ready to give us a warm welcome. What do you make of this, Andreas? The narrow point of access limits how many we'll need to face at once. It's to our advantage. How reassuring. That's my reckoning, too. Let's get going! Plan. It won't be pretty if we get surrounded. What's your take on the situation, Rias? Archers and magickers are powerful from a distance, but vulnerable at close range. We should take them out first and create a gap in the enemy ranks. Yes, that would be my strategy too. Right away. I've got it. Go. Got it. must be running out of minions to hide behind. Come on, what is that? What was that? Oh, those are huge. 
They looked way smaller to Cussy. It seems they're willing to try anything in order to stop us. What do you think, Riaz? It's a simple, dull-witted creature. We can defeat it. We have two HP bars. <laughs> Nothing phases you, does it? Oh, crap. So I can't stun them. I like that. I understand. Can I hit them for good? Is it possible just to hit one? <laughs> yeah, never mind. Picked the wrong person. Or Ugh, this is turning bad really fast. I won't miss. Things will end badly for us all if the Salsorts have their way. 
so they'd best be taken out sooner rather than later. Your groundwork made for a successful mission, Walter Quinn. <laughs> Indeed it did. Eliminating Horace was a simple matter, and all the women came away unharmed. I would gladly do the same again. Though I never imagined my upbringing would lead me to this. <laughs> never have I met a woman quite as mysterious as that one. Well, whatever she's hiding, it's no concern of ours. Not for now. At least. You know, you're quite the mystery yourself, Andreas. <laughs> oh, yes. Andreas is always holding something back, my dear Iscarion. That's certainly something I've come to realize. The Granville Church. Having split from the mainland's old communion a millennium ago, it exists only on Diofield. Its core belief is the worship of Nathal as the one true god. It teaches that the people of Diofield are God's children, that praying to him will sate the soul. Its archbishop, Joshua, is an aristocrat with a seat on the Lord's Council, a position which grants him great influence, as well as extensive lands in Northfield. His faction is supported by House Redditch and House Jordan, Commander Yalzum's family. Andreas. As expected. How does that sound? Hmm. Indeed. Ah, I suppose so. However... If you wouldn't mind... Okay. Hmm? <laughs> What's the matter, Rias? How did you know it was me? <laughs> well, you do have a certain aura. I've come to know it rather well. Just as I know from our recent battles, that I need to become stronger. Oh, you've come a long way since you declared you wanted to be a mercenary, Izzy. I had my father's reputation to live up to, and you and Fred as examples to follow. After what I saw you two had achieved under his wing, I wanted to do the same. Didn't Zorowak want you to seek a more ladylike life? <laughs> Come on, Rias. You know my father. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It's about finding your own path. That's what matters. I see. I feel like something's going to happen to one of you two. Either you or her. I'm not sure what, but... I feel like both of you guys aren't going to stay in the party. I hope this works out. <laughs> Is now a good time? <laughs> oh, really? 
Got a sec? <sighs> what a damn pain. Hmm. Well... How does that sound? Very well. Understood. As before. Hmm, well. Hello there. Hi. How could this happen? Right, and what's more? What do you say? Indeed. Hmm.